we went to go catch some green aliens in my backyard of the new house that I just bought. Wait, Ellie, do you see them? They're literally everywhere. Oh, they're go they're at oh There's my so gosh, there are so many. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, it's been a crazy week down here in South Florida. The weather has been crazy, and now you can see it is nice and sunny, and it's actually pretty cool outside. Now for the past week, it has been raining, and it has been very, very windy, and last night, we went to go catch some green aliens in my backyard of the new house that I just bought. And when I'm telling you, they're green aliens. They are humongous toads that are living in my backyard. Now, as many of you may know, I'm not moved in yet, but with all of these toads, they're very, very dangerous because these toads are poisonous. If my dogs try to attack them, try to bite them, they release this poison when they feel threatened, which is actually life-threatening to dogs. So that is a very big concern. We need to remove these toads. They're invasive, so we need to get them off the property immediately. So before we hop into today's video we're actually going to be heading inside if all of you have been following the channel you'll know duke my italian danif which is a great dane mixed with a cane corso developed epilepsy since the beginning of this year and we have been battling with it he is on a bunch of medication and honestly guys it's sad to say that he is not getting any better so guys without further ado let's hop straight into today's video so here we have all of the puppers right here. We have all of my doggies. We even have Milo in the distance. So Milo was my first ever big dog that I brought home. And then we brought Cody home. There's Cody. He's my three-year-old Catahoula. Hello. And then I brought Mr. Dookie home. Now this is the little boy with the seizures. He's been dealing with epilepsy for the past year and he is the goodest boy ever. And he's actually the biggest dog that we have in the Fetter fam. And he is actually the calmest, believe it or not, since he is mixed with Great Dane. It really mellows his personality out and definitely being on all of that medication really calms him out. But last but not least, we have Tori girl, Tori. So we got Tori back in January and Tori's actually a Borbo Mastiff. Tori, come. Come here, girl, sit, sit. Oh, yes, let's look at your pretty face. So Tori here is actually the same breed that my brother has. If you all know my brother, you'll know that my brother has two ginormous Borbo Mastiffs, but they're actually Brindle, and she is a blue color. So this is what they call blue, and she is just one gorgeous girl. Let's admire her. Let's look at your face. Oh, you, you just want the pets? Oh, okay. So Dookie here, Tori and Cody are going to be moving with me when I move down to my property, of course, because these these are my biggest babies. They're, they're my they're my love bugs, yes. They're my prized possessions. And this right here, he's a very special boy. And guys, to dive a little bit deeper about his seizures, he's on about, I think, five or six different medications. He gets 20 pills a day, 10 in the morning, 10 at night. We're gonna be diving into that. We're actually going to be giving him his medicine because he hasn't received it this morning. We're gonna be feeding him breakfast and just talking a little bit more about his medication, everything that's going on. And I'm getting kisses from Toy Girl right here. I'm literally being body slammed by dogs right now. So we're, we're, we're gonna head inside. Duke's trying to lay on me right here. So guys, let's, let, let's head inside and get Duke's breakfast ready. All right, so we have made it to the kitchen. We got Duke's bowl, we got his food, we got his medicine. Now, before we talk about his medicine, of course, we need to make sure that he is nice and full. We cannot give him his medicine on an empty stomach. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get his food ready. So we have some yummy, yummy wet dog food. Now, Duke is a very, very spoiled boy. He will not just eat the dry dog food and he's listening to me right here. He's right behind me. So we, we, we can't let him hear us. But we're gonna go ahead, pour our dog food in. All right. And that seems about good. It's like the perfect amount. Now sometimes he doesn't finish it all. Sometimes he's really picky and just won't eat it. But hopefully today, fingers crossed that he will want to eat his food if mommy makes it very, very good. Isn't that right, Dookie? If mommy makes it very good, then you'll eat it and you'll be a good boy. So we're gonna go ahead, open our dog food up right here. Mmm, guys, that actually smells very, very good. Very tasty for a growing little doggy boy. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop it on out. Now we only need a couple scoops. All right, we got one scoop, and Duke's already smelling it. You smell that, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's so good. All right, so we got one scoop. We got two scoops. Let's go a little more. And I'm thinking that's pretty good. Now, what I like to do is I like to smush it up and basically coat each and every piece in this food because if we leave it just whole like that, 
He'll just go straight for the wet food. He won't eat anything else. We gotta make sure each and every piece is covered in this wet dog food. So guys, once we do that, I'll be back with you to feed Duke breakfast. So we got our food nice and mixed up. It is looking absolutely yummy, and Duke already went into his crate that we have inside. Isn't that right, buddy? He he already went inside because he knows it's time for breakfast, so we're just gonna put this down on your bed right here. There you go, buddy. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna let you enjoy your breakfast, and we're, we're gonna get your medicine ready, okay? All right. Now it's time to get Duke's medicine ready as he eats his breakfast. So you're probably thinking, this is a lot of medicine. And yes, you are correct. This is a lot of medicine that Duke has. So let's get into talking about all the medication he has. So this right here is actually in his brown bag because it can't be exposed to sunlight or actually be damaged. Now let's go on ahead and open it up. And this is actually my Dazalin. And this comes in syringes like this. And what we have to do is when he's having a seizure, is during his seizure, we have to pop this off. There's a nozzle that goes on it and we have to shoot this up his nose. Now this slightly sedates him so it helps him not have any more seizures. Sometimes it works and he doesn't have any more. And sometimes he has cluster seizures and he'll have more and more and more. Now we must put this back in here so we protect it from the sunlight. And let's hop straight into talking about this. So the first medication we have is phenobarbital. Now he gets this medication every day, so we're gonna go on ahead and put two out. So he gets two in the morning and two at night, so he takes four of those. Now he also gets Keppra Extended Release. Now he has two more bottles, so we're actually going to pick up some more medicine now. They come in about 10 bottles. So he takes 16 pills of these a day, eight in the morning and eight at night. And the reason it's Extended Release is so it lasts throughout the day and throughout the night. So we're gonna count out eight. So we have two, four, six, and eight. And the same medication that we just took out, we have it right here. So this is Keppra immediate release. Now when he has his seizures, let's take a look at the pills right here. You can see that they're different. So they're actually yellow, they're skinnier, and we actually have to break them in half. So it immediately goes into his bloodstream when he has a seizure, and this will actually help stop his seizures. So he gets eight of these when he gets his seizures. And he also has clorazepate. So he gets four tablets twice a day, so he gets eight in total. Three days following the seizure, so he gets this right after he has a seizure, and then three days following the seizure. And this is Trazodone, which is when he was hospitalized. It actually helps with anxiety since he's pumped on all this medication. It really gets him going, it gets his heart going. So this helps him calm down a lot. So now that you have to see all of his medication, you can see that Duke is literally loaded up on medication, which is so sad because if I'm being honest with you guys, his time is ticking. Duke basically is not getting any better. His seizures are getting worse. It was getting better at one point. He was only having one cluster seizure a month rather than two. Now for the past couple times he's had seizures, they're only two weeks apart, so they're not really getting any better. This obviously helps control the seizures, but it's not going to take the seizures away completely. So Duke, unfortunately, his time is ticking, fingers crossed. He lives a long and happy life as best as he can. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna open this cream cheese on up. We're gonna take a big scoop. All right, there we go, because we wanna fit all this medication in there. So we're gonna start putting the medication in. We got two, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there we have it. We're just gonna push the medication in the cream cheese. And what I like to do is I like to cover it so none of them fall out because he's very picky when he takes his medication. He likes to spit it out. So we wanna make sure it's nice and coated. It's not going anywhere. And we get it down his throat good. So now that we got our medication on our spoon, we're gonna go on ahead, take it off, and it's time to give Duke his morning medication. So Dookie ate all of his morning breakfast and he knows what time it is. He literally runs when he sees this hand of cream cheese. He does not want anything to do with it. But of course you have to take it because it makes you, makes you feel better at the end of the day and helps the seizures. So we got our medicine right here. And what I like to do is I like to put my finger under his tooth right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I hold his mouth like this. Pick up his mouth and drop it on in and there we go. We like to hold his mouth up like this and we wait until we hear him swallow, and there we go, guys. I heard him swallow. The cream cheese is down there. The pills are down his throat. And Dookie Boy did such a good job. He took his medicine, and he doesn't even want to lick this cream cheese. You want some? No, you don't want any? All right, guys, now that we gave Duke his morning medicine, you guys got to see a little update on how he's doing with his seizures. We're going to hop straight into today's video. Hurry up, he's going. Where are you going? He's right here. Where? He's right there. He's right there. Oh my Fernando, do you see this? Do you go see open it, open it. Gecko? Wait, wait. Fernando, there's a Toke Gecko right here. All right. We, stay on that side. We're going to come around here. 
Hi, do you see him? I don't see him, I don't see him. Do Wait, you see him? Let's shut the door. Let's shut the door. Open it, open it. Fernando, he's yeah. on the door. Do you see him right here? Oh, yeah, yeah he's right there. He's right oh there. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is a baby toke gecko. Oh, my goodness. Do you think this is possibly the eggs that hatched? I think it's definitely the eggs that it hatched. So, guys, if you've been following the channel, where'd he go? Oh, where he's up go? here. He's up here. Wait, 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 wait. Get him, get him. Guys, we caught the little toke gecko right here. I mean, look at him. He is feisty, and he wants to bite me i don't know if you guys can see it but i definitely can it's very difficult but if you focus very very well you can actually see on the sides of his mouth it's very rigid he just opened it a little wider but it's very rigid and those are his teeth now toke geckos get very very big this guy is a little baby and i think this little guy hatched out of the eggs that we found in my barn but these guys get massive and you can see this one he's a little baby so we're gonna shine the light on him but we're gonna dim it down and just look how beautiful he is this guy is absolutely gorgeous. Look at those orange, green, and all of those different colors going on. And oh, guys, do you see my finger right there? He he just peed on me. I think he just peed. I think he just pooped. But take a look, guys. Look at his amazing little fingers. Now, this is my favorite part about the Toke Gecko is their little fingers. They're like literal gripping pads right here. You can see if I try to move my hand, he has an amazing grip. And that is what they use when they're crawling on the walls, crawling around to grip themselves and hold themselves on. Let's see if we flip him over. If you can see his little hand right here. Look at that right here. Look at his little toes right here. You can see those gripping pads. It honestly feels so, so weird. It's grabbing onto my finger right here. But we're off to an amazing start. We already caught this little guy right here. I mean, look how adorable he is. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and release this little guy because I want this guy to grow up on my property. We're going to have him around. But we need to clean this poop and we need to clean the pee off. So it is now time to find the aliens living in my backyard. So we got a whole crew going on. We got my cousin. We got my cousin's friends. Are you guys ready to find these aliens? Oh, we're so, so ready, ready. Hannah. <laughs> these aliens are toads. So we are going to be finding these giant toads that are living in my backyard. We have cane toads and we have tree frogs. Now, I, I like tree frogs, but I can't do the cane toads. The cane toads are ginormous. I mean, I found ones before that are literally this big. Wow. So we're going to put my glove on right here. And have you guys ever had those toads where you guys live? No, no. they don't. So they actually live in Colorado. They don't get these toads where they live. So are you guys ready? I'm so excited. All right, so we got our light. We all got our gloves and we got our bin. So let's go ahead and I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna find them where the pond is. Now you can see it is very rainy, it is very wet and this is perfect weather for these toads to come out. Now it is a little chilly. So hopefully, fingers crossed, since we already found the toke gecko, we'll be able to find these frogs. So guys, we gotta spread out. Here, let's grab this light right here. Here, so you're gonna get this light right yes. here. All right. So we're gonna head towards the pond. All right, are you guys seeing anything? Not yet, Hannah. Mm -hmm. Are you? No, I'm not seeing anything. All right. Wait. <gasps> Do you see that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big one. Oh my goodness, guys. Look how ginormous he is. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna give him a little pet? Yes. <laughs> guys, look how ginormous. This cane toad is right here. Now these guys are only poisonous when they feel threatened. So if your dog or cat will bite into them, they actually release this poison in their glands in their back right here. Now we're gonna go on ahead since we got this fine right here. We're gonna go ahead and put this guy in this bucket and we have our first fine for the day. There we go. He is definitely wanting to escape, but we've had a successful day so far. We found the gecko, we found the toad. Now we're gonna head to our pond and see what else we can find. We are heading to the pond right now. It's literally directly in front of us. Now in the pond, I have the turtle that was left behind on my property when the old owners left. And I also have some fish in here. And so this is a great, great spot to find some frogs. Now, every time I come here at night, there's been a couple tree frogs and I'm excited to see what there is today. Do you Hannah, see anything guys? Hannah, look right here. <gasps> Look, it's a little baby. Guys, do you see? <gasps> this little guy's oh hanging out in the water plants right here. And oh. he's just honestly chilling. He's, he's super cool looking. Look probably, at his pattern. Wow. Yeah, he's super, super cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, 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 look. look. <gasps> guys, there's two baby frogs. Do you see this right here? So yeah. we have two baby frogs right Oh, he's here. on the move. Should Wait, I get him? Yeah, you grab him and I'm going to grab this one. <gasps> guys, oh my goodness. Now these little guys were probably just hanging out in the water having a good old time. I mean, look at them. 
They are absolutely adorable. Oh, look, they're a little different too. Yeah, they look a lot different. Now guys, I don't know if you can tell, but these little toads right here look a lot different than the one we just caught. And I don't know if that's because they're babies, but these guys are absolutely adorable. So we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna go on ahead and put them in their bucket. Okay, this guy might jump. All right, all right, we're gonna add him in. All right, there we go. So we've already caught three frogs, guys. We're on a roll. Now we've scanned the entire back of the property. We've scanned the entire front of the property. But we still have the back of the property where the barn is. So guys, the only thing left to do is to head and check it out. All right, guys, we're heading to the back of the property. You guys ready? Oh, we're, we're ready. ready. All right, so we're gonna turn the flashlight on. Now, what we wanna look for is for anything that looks like it's sticking out of the ground. Now, these frogs sit up very, very tall when they're big. So we're gonna see what we can find. I really can't see any. Can you guys? I don't see any yet. Wait. Wait, Ellie. Do you see them? They're literally everywhere. Ellie. Oh my Wait, God. Guys, the frogs are literally everywhere. Yeah, I saw them. Wow. Oh my gosh, okay. I already got two. I got two. Guys, I got oh two frogs. Open this up. Oh, Ellie, I spot another one. You spot another one? Guys, oh, look, oh, how, look, 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 how, look how big it is. Oh, this one's a monster. Look how he's just sitting here. Let's go ahead and grab him. And you can see on his back right here, all of those little bumps on his back right here, which are holding that poison that I was just talking about. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put him in. That was absolutely crazy guys. Ellie's over there. She's trying to locate some more. You found another one? <laughs> Wait, did you find one? I got another, Oh my gosh, guys. She found another one. Oh, he's a jumper. That is absolutely insane. I did not think that we were going to find these many frogs. Wow. Let's go ahead. Let's open it. Let's see how many we have, guys. All right. Oh, oh, this oh is insane. Gosh. This is absolutely insane, guys. I did not think we were going to find wow. this many frogs. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to scan the area and see if we can find any more. Can you see anything, guys? We got to be very careful. They were literally everywhere. Oh, here, here. A baby, oh. baby, baby. Oh, my gosh, guys. We found another little baby. And he literally blends in with the ground. Oh, my goodness. Look how tiny he is. He's not even moving. Look at him. He is so, so cute. I mean, look at this little guy right here. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna add him into the bucket. Oh, and we're gonna head to see if we can find any more. All right, guys, so we had a very successful night. We caught, I think about like 15 frogs. So we're gonna take a look. We put them in this bin, guys. They're literally jumping around. Guys, we might not be moved in here yet, but we're gonna be moving in here very, very shortly. And these toads are very poisonous to dogs. And since my dogs are very, very curious, of course, they're probably gonna take a bite out of these frogs. They're probably gonna get poisoned. Obviously, we don't want this. We need to make sure that my dogs are happy and healthy and we get these toads away. So let's go on ahead. Let's take a look. Fernando, they might jump at you. No, 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 no. I'm terrified of frogs. <laughs> All right, so we're going to turn the light on. Oh, they're go They're at. Oh There's my so gosh. There are so many. There's a little guy right here. Let's see. Let's see. Can you count how many there are? Oh my gosh. There are so many toads, guys. Come on, grab it, grab it. Guys, I think this might be the biggest frog that we caught tonight. I mean, we have so many. So we have one, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, guys. We have twelve frogs. And if you look at this little frog right here, you can see he's actually a different color. He looks a little bit different than the older ones right here. Look at him. He's actually very, very pretty. Don't you think, Fernando? He's gorgeous. Look at him. He's very, very cute. But guys, that's going to end today's video. We had a very successful night catching these aliens, living in my backyard. And guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, what I want you to do right now is comment down below what other creatures you think are living in my backyard because we have these green aliens. We caught so many of them. And if you want to stay tuned and see what else we find in my crazy backyard, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.